Hey guys, and welcome to Villa Gran. This is a, a tour that I'm doing actually right now. I'm on it. The first of five stops. I believe it's five stops. Uh, this beach is called Praia do Dentista, or in English, Dentist Beach. I don't know why yet, but I will find out. Maybe they have a dentist around here, I'm not sure. Um, so, we were able to basically do this tour um, through the Posada, which we we're staying at, which I will show you in, in, uh, in one of the other videos. And basically, we, we got a deal. It cost us, um, original price is 400 reais which is approximately a hundred dollars Canadian but we basically got it for 360 reais because we did it through the Posada so it was a good deal I highly recommend doing it try to do it through the Posada or wherever you end up staying uh, if it's a hotel I, sometimes they have it so I'm just going to show you around the beach a little bit That's our boat right in the front there. It's a really, really hot day and the sun is very strong. There's our boat right there. So as I was saying, um, basically we took a smaller boat and it's a little bit of a rough ride. I would highly suggest if you have uh, seasickness that you might want to take a medicine or something before or take a bigger boat if they have it available I'm not sure uh, we didn't really look into that but yeah it's a wonderful blue sky day and I would highly suggest uh, if you ever get a chance to come to Rio do Ilha Gran uh, the big island because it's uh, it's just a marvelous place to go and it's pretty peaceful not a lot of uh, no crime really at all I feel safe recording here uh, also when you come on this tour you can bring your own beer it's it's recommended because they don't have beer on this tour but they do have uh, water available if you need water unlimited water um, I basically brought a wet bag which helps with the carrying of stuff to the beach so you don't wet your belongings so yeah, I uh, will be showing more of the next stop that we go to. This this stop lasts about 50 minutes. I think we have another 30 minutes or so. And just having a drink and taking in some rays. And uh, you'll be seeing the next stop soon. Water is nice for sure. Very nice. That's fun. It's, a, it's deep right about here because of the boat. And you can stand right here. By the way guys, if you need to go to the washroom, there isn't one on the beach, so you have to go here. <laughs> no choice. After having three, four beers or whatever you drink, you're gonna have to go. When you have to go, you have to go. What? Four beers. Four beers. Paloma says four beers. Exactly. <laughs>
So guys, we arrived at this next little beach, which is called Praia de Piedad, which is basically the beach of like feeling bad for somebody. I don't, I don't know exactly the word in English, but I'll, I'll put it in below. And as you can see, it's still a little bit sunny. To show you around here, there's the, there's the little church, just right up there. There's Paloma. Show you around here. We're only going to be staying here for about 30 minutes. And actually, something interesting when we got here, the uh, guy on the next boat started yelling at our at our pilot for some reason. Because and then it turned out because because it was a little flotation device in our in front of us that they thought we were gonna run over. I don't know. I thought it was a person and then I saw what it was. Kind of kind of funny. Ridiculous at the same time. So not much to do here. It's just kind of a little beach. And actually the boat they can't stay here too long. They have to leave right after they leave their uh, passengers. And then they'll come back when the time is up. It's kind of like a drop off pickup. Kind of interesting. Nice. Still the weather is warm enough. Nice scenery, some houses over there. Somebody is leaving their boat and they're not supposed to, but that's okay. And I don't know if that noise is thunder or what. Not really sure. So we'll see you at the next beach, which I think is a lot longer. I think it's about another 50 minutes or so. See you then. So guys, 
We arrived at this next beach, which is called Praia Rutina. Um, it's not really much of a beach, and it's mainly like stones and things that you can see behind me. You kind of also have to keep a flotation device. Otherwise, unless you're an excellent swimmer and you can stay afloat in here, you're not going to be able to last. You can't really touch the ground. So I'm just going to show you around. It's beautiful. Quite, quite green water. Very, very uh, clear for the most part. So I'll show you. Kind of rocky islands. Don't know if I'm going to make it over there. But I'm going to swim a little bit to the green, clear water. And then I'm going to go take this hammer underwater, show you what's under. It's pretty beautiful. And the weather's holding up. It looks like there was going to be a storm from the south, I guess it's south, but it's not happening, which is great. So let's take a look underwater. Nice. So, uh, we're only going to be here about 40 minutes. So guys, I was able to make it over to the rocks. It was a little bit uh, dangerous because it's slippery and one of the rocks moved. Nearly hurt myself. But I made it over here and it's very tiring. So I'll just show you where, how far I traveled from where our boat is. It's right up there. So without this thing, I probably wouldn't have made it. It's a little bit of a distance. So I'm just going to show you around what we're looking at here. It's all rocks, pretty much no sand. So you have to be very careful when you're, if you want to come onto the rocks here. When I get through, it's probably going to be just as dangerous. I have to wait and see. I'm going to probably go back in in about five minutes or so as the boat's going to leave. I actually ended up finding a abandoned, as they call, uh, noodle. Well, in English, it's a noodle. So, I'll probably end up going back onto the boat in about five minutes, as I said. Hopefully, I can make it by then. So it's really, really beautiful here. Seems like the weather's still holding up. I don't know. They're saying calling for rain in the next hour or two. Just show you around. Yeah, so I, I do think it's worth it doing this tour. I said uh, this beach doesn't really have much to do it's kind of just like snorkeling um, and you gotta you have to rent the goggles basically from the boat or you can get some before you leave the uh, port but it's uh, it's quite a it's quite a beautiful scene guys back to the boat it was pretty difficult but I'm exhausted and I most likely will eat something so I think close to 4 30 local time uh, I guess it's getting pretty cloudy now as you can see I don't know if it's gonna rain it might I think it's rain tonight but that doesn't matter because our little trip is almost over. Lots of people in the water here. Wonderful. Water's not too cold. Medium temperature. Yeah, so I'll show you guys the next beach. I don't remember the name again, as I didn't do my research. But uh, I will show you, and uh, hopefully show you the menu, what they have. So guys, I arrived at the fourth and final beach. Uh, this one is a very, very beautiful beach. There's two sides of it. One side is only for uh, docking. 
and then the other side is for everybody's so I'll just give you a quick look around. This is the side where everybody goes swimming. The weather's still holding up, which is amazing. I don't know if you guys can hear because it's kind of windy here. <laughs> I'll see if I can go to the other side. I don't know if it's possible on the other side there. It's a little bit for further away. I don't think so. So let's see. Into the water now. Looks like the storm is moving that way, which is good. So as I said, I, th I truly think this is worth doing when you come to Iga Gran, Big Island. Um, yeah, I'll basically put the prices in. It's, it's not expensive, especially if you're paying Canadian dollars or American dollars. Highly worth it. The next stop will be 
uh, basically where they're gonna offer lunch. Not really gonna eat there, probably eat something for dinner later. And there you have it. I don't remember the name of this beach, but I will put it in in the contact in the uh, messages below.